Hey there, my name is Jessica Daniels and I'm the Customer Experience Coordinator here at InReach Solutions. Today we're going to be talking about auto actions. We're going to talk a little bit about what they are and how triggers and actions work together in SAM. And we're also going to create a simple auto action. Let's get started. So before we start creating auto actions, a good practice is to sit down and write out exactly what you want the auto action to do. So in this situation, the example we're doing is I want Sam to update the family's case stage from inquiry to application when the application receive date is entered in Sam. The reason that it's helpful to write this out is so that you can see what the trigger is and what the action is. A trigger tells Sam to make the action happen. So we have several trigger types. We have update field, insert a record, delete a record, and schedule. The action is the end result, what you want to happen. There are several action types, but the ones that people use most often are send an email, add an alert, update a field, and insert a record. So in our example, the trigger is the updated field of the application receive date. The action is updating the family's case stage field. One more important thing to know is that you can only do one action at a time with each auto action that you create. So you can send an email or insert a record or update a field. You can't do all three of those things at the same time. So if you wanted, if you needed a, an auto action that updates a field and sends an email, you'll just need to create two separate auto actions. Okay, so we're in SAM and we're just going to create a really simple auto action. And what I want this auto action to do is when the application receipt date is entered, meaning we've received the application from the family, I want Sam to change the case stage from inquiry to application. So let's see how we do that. We're, first, we're going to go up to settings, click that, click auto actions, and then we're going to create a new auto action. And I think what I want to call this is, I've already written it in here, which is application received case stage to application. So it's just a kind of a simple description of what it does. There are many, many ways you can uh, name your auto actions and that's really up to your organization. Um, but we do recommend that you try to keep it consistent. The execute more than once per record will not be checked here because we only want this to happen one time. There's no reason to update the case stage to application more than once. If I want to create a really detailed description of what this auto action does, I would uh, click in here and type up, type that out. Then we just click save. Okay, so our next step is to select the trigger type. Uh, this is the action that will cause the automated task to be performed. This is what triggers the action to happen. So what triggers our action to happen in our situation is that the application date is updated. So we are going to click update field because that's our trigger. And now we're going to tell Sam where that trigger is, where that entity, what entity type and what field that is that we're looking for. So in this case, because it's in a family record, we're going to go into family. So we click the plus sign to get all the other options in, in the family record. Uh, and application receive dates in the case record. So I'm going to click that. I'm actually just going to click case there. And then you'll see all of these fields that are in that section that you can choose from. And what we're looking for is application receive date. So I'm going to click that. Okay. So now we have our trigger criteria, which is from the case, the family case, the application receive date field. And what I'm telling Sam is when it's not empty, when that field is entered, I want an action to perform. You can add multiple filters in here. So let's say if an application is received um, and 
the, I also want the, um, uh, the social worker, uh, the social media agreement. If I want both, I want the application receive date and the social media agreement um, signed, something like that. Uh, I can add that in there. There's lots of different filters and we'll go over that in a, in a future uh, video. So for now, what we've got is application receive date is not empty. Um, and then down here, you'll notice if when you do more than one filter, you'll get this option here, which is results match all filters results match any or some filters and so you'll be telling sam that if it has to have all of those triggers happening or just any or some of those okay and then click save now here's our action what are we trying to do we're trying to tell sam to change a case stage from inquiry to application and that means what we're doing is updating a field again so we're going to click update a field and then we're going to go to the side here and click add field go to select that table again go to the case and we are looking for case stage there it is we want the case stage to be application if let's say uh we are already have the application and we want this case stage updated to home study we can do that. If you have other ways of describing these things, uh, that can be changed as well. So we want the case stage to be application. That's our action. And we click save. And there we are. There's our auto action. So um, the green pencils here, you can actually edit each of those sections individually. Uh, that's how you do that. Um, and then if I decided I messed up my trigger or wanted to change that, um, I can do that here. If um, my filters weren't right, the filter is the trigger criteria, I can change that there. So pretty easy to edit that once you've, once you've gotten to this point. Uh, you can also re review and see what records match that criteria that you've selected by clicking here and it pops up these two names that match that criteria. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this guide's been helpful. If you have any questions or need any additional help, just email us at support at inreachsolutions.com.